And welcome back. The Department of Health will today launch a new and improved combination treatment for HIV. Researchers say that the tenofovir antiretroviral drug, or TLD, has less side effects and resistance. However, it does carry some risk, namely possible birth defects. And South Africa has the largest HIV treatment program in the world, and it aims to have more than 6 million people on ARVs by December 2020. And we'll Working in conjunction with the department is a Right to Care, which is a non-profit organization that provides prevention, care and treatment services for HIV and associated diseases. And we are joined by their deputy chief of party in the free state, uh, Dr. Setati Mulefi. Thanks so much for coming through. Thank you very much. So uh, we are heading towards uh, World AIDS Day and obviously, you know, uh, we are taking stock of a lot of the developments that have taken place. Yesterday we looked at the new self-testing kit. Uh, today we're talking about advances in uh, treatment. Uh, so uh, talk to us about, you know, your view on how things have progressed. Okay. So generally when we talk about progress, we would like to judge ourselves against what was set as the 1990 targets. Uh, by UN AIDS and of course with the which the country adopted. So this speaks to a target uh, that will assist us achieve a, a goal of HIV not becoming a, a public health concern by 2030. So we need to hit those targets by the end of 2020. So when we, ju when we look at how we've done so far, we've done very well on the first 90, which is uh, ensuring that all 90% of all people who live with HIV know their status. Then the next level would be 90% of those people would want them to be on treatment, sustained treatment, antiretroviral treatment. And then the third 90 would be that 90% of those who are on treatment should be virally suppressed and retained in care. Then those would set us up to, to, to actually hit the target that by 2020 would have hit the 990 target. And then by 2030, HIV and AIDS wouldn't be a public health concern. So it's, Are we it's on towards track? actually, yeah. So we're doing well. 90% and um, the first 90 we've hit. We're struggling with the second 90, which is getting those people who are aware of their HIV status and that they are positive on treatment. So, and, and then the third 90, uh, we, we're doing well relatively. But when you look at the fact that not everybody will want to be on treatment is, or, is on treatment already, then we, 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 we really are struggling there. So the struggle with people who know their status and are not on treatment, uh, has there been any research done into why that is? Yeah, so it's quite multifactorial really. Uh, the issues regarding the system, issues regarding the patients themselves, and uh, issues regarding the treatment uh, as well. So you'd see that the interventions are at different levels. Uh, for instance, today we want to talk about the, 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 the launch of the new drug combination, um, uh, TLD. So specifically, it's not the tenofovir that is of interest. It is rather the dolutogravir, so the, the D. So what we've been using right now in terms of the, of the drug combinations is that we have got tenofovir and, and cit yeah, then I'll go trip myself. <laughs> and then uh, I'll come back to that. And then um, efavirenz. So what we're doing is we're replacing the efavirenz with delutegravir. So it's no longer TEE, but TLD. So that's the drug of interest. So we, 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 we're introducing a, a combination that will make it easier for the patients to take because it's got less side effects. And also uh, it, it actually suppresses the virus much quicker than what you've been using right now. Mm. So th those are some of the, of the interventions, obviously. So it, if the, the patients are also confident of the fact that they will reach the goal of virus suppression, which is what we want, and therefore you know, not die of HIV and also uh, not be as sick as they would be if they were taking other treatments, either because of side effects or because of a delay in reaching the suppression uh, uh, that we desire then it, it also encourages patients to, to come. Obviously, we have to fix the other things, the system, the health system, how our facilities are structured, when we render, render services to people and access. So another thing about um, uh, introducing Delotegrave is that the cost of the actual combination of drugs is less when we're using TLD than when we used TEE. So it improves the access. And then the, 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 the other advantage of the fact that it suppresses the, the virus much faster and it is sustained. So the, it's not just quick, quick results, but quick and sustained results. So um, um, uh, it, it, is a cost, it's, it is a cost issue by broadening access and, 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 and getting us to the goal uh, much faster and, and, and over safer if we have less, mm -hmm. less side effects. Um, I, I would imagine uh, for someone who is currently on antiretrovirals, they're thinking about the side effects. And, um, you know, uh, can we talk to the current side effects and what this uh, improved um, uh, combination will do in terms of alleviating that. Lovely. So um, a key side effect that people on efavirenz will tell you about 
is the neuropsychiatric side effects. So um, a, a lot of people struggle with, with um, effavorance. They have um, um, vivid dreams or nightmares. They struggle to sleep. Um, so those are quite intense with effavorance compared to what we get with dolgotegravir. There's still some side effects with dolgotegravir. The most uh, um, um, uh, um, reported would be insomnia in that case. But uh, it, can, it can actually be managed much better than how we manage uh, uh, with effavorance. So those, 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 that side effect, effect profile is, is better. And also the, 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 amount or the, the amount of people who get side effects with dolgotegravir is much less than with uh, effavorance. A study in Brazil, for instance, showed that um, with 26,000 people studied, uh, less than 3% of them got side effects on, on dolgotegravir. That's a, a big number of people, you know, and, um, and, and a very low side effect profile compared to what we currently use. Mm -hmm. and, and, and perhaps just to end it off, uh, mm -hmm. you know, government speaks of the 90-90-90 uh, um, uh, rule. So can we just talk to that in terms of what, this is aimed at and also again you spoke earlier about uh, other targets that are set and that we're well on track with regard to this how can we go about actually intensifying uh, you know people's knowledge and also awareness to try and meet these targets okay so one of the most important key messaging that we need to get out of out out there right now regarding the the targets the 1990 targets is that one um, we can actually bit AIDS. Um, we want it not to be a public health concern. We want it not to be such a dire problem in our public health system. Secondly, uh, once you do take your medication, you will be suppressed rapidly. You will sustain that su suppression. And if you con consistently take your medication, adhere to your treatment, you can actually suppress your virus such that you do not transmit it on to other people. So this, this uh, buzzword or key uh, uh, message is that you is equal to you. If your virus is undetectable, it cannot be transmitted. It's undetectable, therefore untrans untransmissible. So there's, there's a benefit to the, to the patient themselves in that they will be healthier, uh, it improves their quality of life, and, and the benefit to also their partners in that they will not be transmitting the virus. So this, this is a key message that we need to get out, out there and make sure that um, we, we have this uh, benefit of, of treatment, which is both um, you know, improving health, but also uh, decreasing transmission and therefore decreasing the rates of HIV. I know I said that's the final question, but just on, 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 on uh, birth defects, uh, yes. for example, as a side effect, can we talk to that in terms of this new improved treatment regime? Sure. So what they found with Dolitegrave is that uh, there was a reported increase in the birth defects in uh, women who, who were on it, so in a neural, neural tube uh, defects. So uh, it was uh, in a study in Botswana where instead of one baby in a thousand getting neural uh, cube uh, defects in, uh, with people using ARVs, with dolutegravir, it seemed to increase to three in a thousand. So uh, further studies were done to make sure w whether the association was in fact with dolutegravir or if there were other extenuating circumstances. So um, with, with all the research and, and, and all the studies being brought together globally, you know, the risk is not as, as, as big as it seemed to be. So we're still making sure that we, 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 we know we, we mitigate against this. We, we inform patients. So we inform all, all women of childbearing age that they need to be on reliable contraception if they are going to be using dolitography. And we monitor them and track them. And as soon as somebody becomes pregnant on the drug, we need to do all the tests and investigations to check if there is indeed a, a development of neural, neural th uh, cube defects that we and can I then manage. That is critically important. Thank totally. you so much, as Thank is all much. the information um, that was shared with us this morning. Uh, Dr. Stati Mulefe is the Right to Care's Deputy Chief of Party in the Free State and uh, talking to us about improvements in uh, treatment of uh, tenofovir antiretroviral drugs. And um, H uh, Minister of Health, Dr. Zuelim Kize, will in fact be launching the drug in KwaZulu-Natal today. So we'll leave that one there for now.